Welcome back to another Carb Co. Quickie. So this quickie comes from a question from a person on Facebook. It's a rather simple thing, but I think it'll help some of y'all out there, so we're going to make a quickie over it. And also, I'm going to throw a bonus tip in here, so stick with me, let's get on the computer, and let's get started. Okay, so here's the question. You've got an object like this with all square corners, and you want to round those corners. How do you do that? Very easily done. Come over to the left side of your screen, and if it's not on the left, it's around there somewhere. Find this tool right here. It's called the fillet tool. Click on that. You're going to get a fly out or a drop down menu on the right hand side. It'll give you the options to do a dog bone, T bone, um, not New York strip, but external arc, extended limb trine, intersection, and fillet arc. In this case, we want to use fillet arc because we're going to make the count corners round. If we wanted to dog bone them, obviously we would pick dog bone and etc. etc. On the top line here, you adjust the fillet radius. This is in inches in this case, so we're going to go 0.5. Now I'm going to show you how easy this is. Don't close out this menu and go back to your project. Hover over the corners that you want to round off, and you'll get a little square window. When the window appears, left-click on the mouse. And as you can see, it rounds them over perfectly with a half-inch radius, in this case, all the way around the project. Very, very easily done. Pretty simple, but I'm sure it'll help somebody out there. Now, the bonus tip from Gary Vogt on Facebook. When you move your project around, typically, and you're scrolling in and out with your mouse wheel, you can see that that project is dancing all over the place. If you'd like to stop it from doing that, push down on the space bar and hold it, push down on the right mouse key and hold it, and then move your mouse in any direction, in and out, and it will bring your project straight in, straight out, nice and smooth without the constant jumping. It only works in the 3D menu, but it's a trick, a nice little trick from Gary Vogt.